All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another daily upload. Now I got in some free time in the beginning of the day and I've had this video planned out for a while. I've wanted to do it for a long time, but I've just been going too much fishing, too much other videos that I never really got around to doing this video. Um, and as you can tell by the title, that is gonna be the tour of my tracker. 2020 Pro Team 175 Tournament Edition. Now, I've taken it out and you guys have seen it on videos plenty of times. You've probably had it for about a month and a half now. And I meant to do a tour on it earlier, but sometimes on the days that I was like, all right, I'll film the boat tour today. I'm just like, oh, let's just let's just go fishing and film a fishing video instead. So finally got some free time in the day. We are gonna be going and taking it out fishing later. So stay tuned for a video after this. Not sure if we're gonna be doing just bass fishing or a catch and cook. I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna be doing. Depends on how the day goes. But after I finish filming this video, I am gonna be taking the boat out and we are gonna be getting on the water. So look out for that video right after this one. I'll be posted tomorrow. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and kind of get an in-depth tour of how I rigged this boat, kind of what I like most about it, and kind of just, you know, some in-depth features about the boat. All right, so going to start off at the back of the boat here, we have our Mercury four-stroke 75 horsepower um, engine, pretty great engine. I mean, it's nothing special like those 200 horsepower motors you see on the nitros, but it gets us around probably 30, 35 miles per hour. Now, this is not a huge boat, so you don't need a giant motor to get around. It's only 17 foot seven. Um, but there's still plenty of space in it. We've liked it so we liked it a lot so far. So pretty good motor. I mean, it gets us where we need to go. Gets us from point A to point B. Well, we go ahead and next we'll go up to kind of the not really the back of the boat, but on the deck towards the back of the boat where our live well and seats and all of our other storage compartments are. All right. So in the back of the boat here we have our rear seat. Now we don't usually always use this. We leave it in sometimes when we've got more than two people on the boat, but most of the time we just will unscrew this and leave it out because we'll have one person casting in the front of the boat, one person casting in the back. And you know, we don't really need to be sitting most of the time. We just like to stand up and fish. So this sometimes gets in the way when you're trying to be back here and sitting. But when you do have a lot of people on the boat, sometimes people get tired, sometimes you need this rear seat. All right, and so right in front of the seat here, we have our live well. I'm pretty sure it's a 22 gallon live well. Um, a bigger live well than what you usually get when you get the tournament edition. As you can see, it has these two separate sides with a little divider in the middle. Um, we've only used it once for that one video you guys saw where we kept the fish. Oh, and the 2v2 tournament that unfortunately I didn't get to upload, but that is our live well. Pretty great live well, works great for us so far. Then over to the left from our live well, we have a small little storage compartment. We just keep some rope in there, or when we have more people on the boat, some extra tackle and stuff um, to tie off on the cleats and stuff like that. And then our third storage compartment that we have over here, we usually just keep our snacks and sunscreen and stuff like that in it. Um, usually our snack container. And behind the seat here, we have our three uh, marine batteries and our gas tank. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a 26 gallon gas tank. Um, so a really good gas tank. I mean, we don't really stay on the motor that much, but um, it takes us a long time to go through that gas. All right, so that brings us to the middle of the boat where the seats are. Um, these seats do not fold up, but they are really nice seats, all leather, super comfortable. We've got the full seat here and the full seat by the uh, behind the steering wheel, but and then we have this little kind of half bench seat, and under that we kind of keep our boating like uh, registration stuff, uh, manuals, stuff like that on this bag. And let me grab you guys real quick. And in this middle seat is this um, noco genius now this makes it super convenient to charge the boat because basically this thing right here is attached to an ac outlet so you just plug that into an extension cord and then it routes that power and charges all three of the batteries the cranking battery um, the electronics battery and the trolling motor battery all right and as you can see now i am sitting in the driver's seat super comfortable plenty of leg room underneath here on the seat um, but pretty basic uh, controls up here on the dash. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. So here obviously we have our steering wheel and our RPMs, our trim meter. Um, this is our water pressure gauge. This is our battery gauge and then our speedometer with our fuel tank. Now it has does have a 12 volt uh, car charger that you can put in here, plug your uh, phone in. I charge my GoPro batteries in there all the time. And then right down here we have our live well controls. Um, with our also our accessory switch where if you want to put any um, new electronics or lights or something like that in here we have our horn and then we have our um, ignition switch our bilge pump and our nav lights and anchor light controls and then over here to my right obviously is the throttle with the trim controls on the side and then the kill switch is down there 
And one more thing I forgot to mention is our um, depth finder at the driver's seat. Now this does have two depth finders. It has one up here by the center console and it also has one up there by the trolling motor for when you're like up there fishing near the foot pedal. But this one near the driver's seat, I'm pretty sure um, has sonar and down imaging, but the one up front has sonar, down imaging, and uh, side imaging. So really good. This is the Lance um, Hook 5, I'm pretty sure. And it's worked really good for us so far. We really only use this one for the maps, unless there's someone fishing back there. And then you can turn it on dual screen. We'll have one on the map, one on the uh, sonar, and they can see it from back there. But mainly this is just our navigational depth finder. And right here we have our cooler. Now we did clean this out today. We've got some more waters in there, but um, only problem is we kind of double this as our trash can, so it kind of gets gross sometimes. But we did clean it out today and clean the whole boat today. But that is where we keep all of our drinks and stuff. And then up front, as you guys can see, is our rod lockers, our storage, our tackle storage locker, and our other rod locker. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, two rod lockers and the tackle storage container where I show you guys how we store our rods and kind of how we organize our tackle in the boat. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll go ahead and open up kind of my side of the boat. I keep most of my rods in here and Jake keeps most of his rods on that side. So if we open this up, as you can see, I've got... Um, my rods, it looks like my spinning rod fell down. I was kind of worried there for a second I didn't see it. But I've got my spinning rod, my three bait casters, and my big swim bait rod. We also keep the anchor light down in here as well as the oar. Now if you guys do want to see a kind of complete rod and reel arsenal, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments and I can show you guys kind of more in depth about how um, I like to use my rod system. Because I, I right now I run a five rod system. I'm looking to upgrade and get more rods. But I can do a video on that if you guys want to see that. Just let me know. And then obviously on the other side, we have well, Jake's rods. He's got his uh, four rods in here that he uses. And then the middle, we have all of our tackle as well as our PFDs are in here too. But as you can see, we have a ton of tackle. I mean, I've got all my tackle boxes. My um, plastic boxes are back in there. Jake's got his plastic boxes off his tackle boxes. It's got the PFD, and it's kind of got a cool little accessory tray down here with some cup holder, we keep some pliers, a buff. I mean, plenty of storage in this. I mean, I do have probably more tackle than the average fisherman, and it fits all of it fine. Plus Jake's tackle. Plus, if we're bringing people with us, it has plenty of room for their tackle too. So really spacious storage back here. I mean, it's kind of dark, so I doubt you guys can see, but it kind of goes all the way back up in there. Kind of hard to see, but it does go farther back that way. All right, and so up here at the front, we do have our trolling motor with our foot controls. Really nice having the foot control there because you can just fish while using the trolling motor. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Minn Kota maximum 70 pound thrust, so that's really all you need on this small boat like this, but it works great so far. Um, we love using it, and kind of once we figured out how to use the right mode, it definitely got a lot easier, and we weren't using the battery on as much because I know you guys saw in that one video, uh, our trolling motor started dying. That's because I think we were using it on the wrong mode. We kept it on continuous, but now we have it on to where you just push this little button right here and it will turn on and then when you're not pushing that button it just um, kind of stays in idle. Up front also we have our second Lowrance Hook 5. Now I'm pretty sure this is the one with side imaging, down imaging, and sonar scan. Um, also has chart too but we don't really use this one for chart. We just keep this one on um, kind of a three uh, split screen where we have our sonar right here, our down imaging right here, and our side imaging right here. All right, and so up front we have our second Lowrance uh, Hook 5. This is the Hook 5 TS. And this is the one that I'm pretty sure has uh, side imaging, down imaging, and sonar. Um, that's what we use it for. We have it on a split screen where it shows our sonar, down imaging, and side imaging all at once. Um, really good to look at while you're standing up here near the foot controls fishing. And then in front of the foot controls we have another cup holder and we have these um, two kind of scissors or plier slots that we keep um, these like kind of needle nose um, pliers on and then a pair of scissors. And then moving up a little bit farther, we have a second um, place for our tilt controls and then our nav light. All right, so I'm pretty sure I covered about just about everything about this boat. Um, as you guys can see, it's on a trailer that came with a Tracker brand trailer. Um, little small trailer that works perfectly fine for this. Easy to drive, easy to get around. Um, but that's pretty much all the main kind of points I want to go over about the boat. I mean, you guys see me fish off of it. You guys see me, see me use it. And I love this boat so far. It's gotten us to plenty of different places and areas that we just couldn't fish before. And it's just gotten us a lot more mobility than on the kayaks. Not to say I don't like fishing on the kayaks, but this bass boat has just kind of greatened our reaches of fishing a little bit more. 
So that is gonna be pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to look out for a video tomorrow um, that'll be posted our fourth daily upload in a row. Um, this would be our third daily upload. If you haven't checked out our 100 subscriber giveaway, it'll be linked above. Make sure you go and check that out. But all in all, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just wanna do a quick little boat tour of the new boat um, that I've meant to do for a while. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video.